So this is a my review and actually first use of one for me a twin tub and two the actual hot point supermatic uh, 9414. I have no idea if it actually works, but then again I have paid for it, so let's see if it actually works. So we're going to go through it as if. I've just bought it. So, I'll, this is like almost an instruction manual too, because uh, I couldn't find one anywhere. Well, after a bit of figuring out, let's take a look. We're going to remove the lid. This is the worktop. Remove that. And we've got a washer and if you press this lid button here it's not very strong but you have to push hard and the spring isn't very hard like you know so let's have a look and we've got our spin dryer hmm right, I'm gonna try and turn this round so you can get a better look so hopefully this is a bit better and inside we have a, an agitator, we've got this, which I'll show you in a minute. This is our uh, recirculation spout and then this will go over this, the filter. We've also got a spare, uh, one of these, um, no idea. Well there is one thing missing and that's the tongs and they're missing. And there's no spin mat for some reason. Either way, I've been told that the uh, old lady was still using this right up until the fact that it got removed. But of course, that, I mean, it got removed because she went into a home, unfortunately. So, this got put for sale on auction. I bought it, because why not? Let's have a look. Right, so we're going to start off with this. So we need to fill it up with water. And to do that, you put that end onto your tap because it will uh, mould to it, and this end into the back here. Right, so we haven't got a tap. What do we do? Let's uh, do something ridiculous and attach this to the actual water mains. We have controls here. We have uh, the wash selection, which will adjust the speed of that. Uh, we have obviously minimum for, um, as you can see here, for wool, uh, minimum for acrylics and wool mixtures, medium for obviously synthetics, and uh, non color fast cotton, and then maximum for uh, white cotton and color fast cotton, so obviously like whites and your towels. We have, um, we have a temperature of warm, which is 40, hot, which is 50, and it clicks into place. Very hot, which is 60, and then boil obviously up to 98 degrees because it's actually really is true boil. Um, but if you notice, everything's one step down. So, white cotton that's normally done at 95 is actually done at 60. Uh, your your cold fast cotton and your white nylon that's normally done at 60 is actually done at 50, and everything else is actually done at 40. We have um, the spin rinse selector. Which you can nicely hear it. Oh yes. Automatic, which will drain that um, into this, and then just normal spin, which doesn't drain it. And we've got our pipe here, so we can't really drain it. I can't reach, so we're just going to drain into this next rear when we come to it. Uh, right, so you, you can have two methods. You can reuse re the water that comes out from the spinner straight back into the washer. And then, but to drain the washer, you need to put it through the spinner, um, but then drain it straight into something else. So, ironically, you can also actually have it going round, like so, and the same method by using this, because this goes on the back here, as we can see, just shoves on, 
and that can go over over that or indeed onto your tap. So if you're filling up, you put this onto your tap. When you're recirculating water or draining the water, you have to have it over this. Um, so we're going to show you. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to this. It's quite good. I'm getting sort of excited here. Um, right. So we're gonna try and fill it up first. Right, so what I'm going to do is attach this to a inlet water and just use the normal water inlet to fill through this. So this won't lift up until it's actually stopped. Ping! There we go. Oh yes, yes. Alright, so let's uh, let's try and fill it up then. Quite an experience when you never use one and no instructions. Just trying to work it out. Except I have one problem with this, and that is, well, guess what? It only seems to fit certain fittings. Now well, again, it's supposed to go around your tap, but this is just ridiculous. So if you got a normal tap, it just generally doesn't work. You end up with a lot of uh, spillage. Wastage. Still, we're gonna try. Come on. Right, so generally speaking, this method just doesn't work <laughs> at all. So what you can do is put it onto spin, close the lids.
Right. Ready? So, fact is, there is no, the wash selector seems to only run on one speed. And it's so um, splashy. And there's no spin brake. That's all. We fix this in. Maybe not. Maybe a bit less brushy once filled up. <laughs> Thank you. 
go wash this out. Then we'll um, put some. So while we wait, while I go wash this out, what we can do is there is quite a bit of uh, stuff in there. So we can turn the heat on. So while that's heating up, we're going to empty this and we're going to sort our laundry out. Still cold.
wash, let's say that's your timer. So that's enough washing for them and we're just going to put these in to the I do that. Right, so we're going to put this to one side and we're going to rinse them in a minute after we've done the towels. What I'm going to do is put this on hot. Hopefully that might work. Right, so this is electrix somehow. I'm guessing that to control the heater you have to have the wash letter on. Yes, yes, I'm with you now. Heat selector to operate, set the wash temperature on, and then you select your heat. But well, I'm guessing that uh, it's short circuiting somewhere. So we're going to leave that to off, and that to off. Turn the wash off. We'll uh, reset this. 
Hopefully, it'll be alright. Right, so we're going to now, I'm going to show you the spinner rinse. So, what we do is we're going to open this up. I'm going to show you how it all works. So what we'll do is first we're going to put this on here. Uh, I think it's this way. Then this goes through here, like so. Then we're going to put this into a hoover for some reason. So it can sort of drain, so we've got to operate the drain as well at the same time on this. So we can't really do it anywhere. Oh, hang on, we've got that. Ah, hang on. Where's my watering can? Ready? So what we do is we select uh, a wash. <laughs> Spin it. I have to spin. Put our uh, drain hose back into the this important kind of so So, one of the downsides is that this hose just come out. Well, what 
can do. Turn both of these off. Drain the machine. Ugh, use a mess.
smart. So I'll show you how I spin the rinse wheels. So what we'll do to start off with, I can't really use that. Put this in the back of the machine, which um, after using it doesn't really secure very well. It's not meant to, but um, it's a bit rubbish if you ask me. And then uh, we're gonna load up our clothes. We're gonna make sure. So we're gonna put them in the same way we did before. So we're gonna put the two t-shirts in first. And you sort of layer them up like that. Then what we do is we are going to add. This is the spinner rinse. So this is what's gonna happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this with a little bit of water. And I've got to switch the other shades on. Now that's constantly pumping around. Well, sort of. There's the lid. The rinse is actually working. If this is sending water around, bam! Through the cell holes, around here, all else is falling through. Because the pins, the buds are pinned, that water is, as we can see, going through the clothes, pushing up the detergent. Two ways of draining it, so you could use that, hook it into the sink, but because of it hooked it back into there, you can actually drain this out and put that into the sink.
or rather smell actually <laughs> smell fresh and ready to dry. I don't mind washing them in cold, but of course these doesn't work. So actually, so here's my final review of my nostalgia, which isn't nostalgia, because as many of you will know, I was born in 1992. These were not around by them, and in fact, my parents had a they had a Hoover twin tub before they moved into a, a three bedroom house, and then they decided to get a Hot Point 1990 20 washer dryer. So I never saw it, and I've never experienced one ever until now. And here's my thing about it. Right, I'm sure it's very quick at washing, but of course the heater's blown. <clears throat> and then there's the fact that you get water everywhere. This is just splashing about and it actually does go everywhere. Um, the recirculation pump tube's starting to go, so that'll come off a few times. Getting water everywhere. Then there's the amount of water it uses. That is technically a top loader. And I filled this 14 litre uh, watering can three times just to empty it. Imagine doing that over and over again. If you're doing separate loads or even so. I guess there is one way you can actually use less water and less detergent because you can chain wash. But that also means you've got a chain rinse as well, so it doesn't. It does work in that sense. Spin rinse I was quite impressed with. The fact that you can send the water back and reuse wash water, that's great. And then you can reuse rinse water as well, which obviously will then come sudsy. So, do I like having a, uh, a twin tub? Well, personally, no. I know it's probably shocking to hear how can somebody who's so interested in washing machines not like a twin tub. It's not the hard work. There is sort of enjoyment about doing this washing. But at the same time, the water everywhere. <laughs> it's just the water, the fact that water gets everywhere. An automatic washing machine doesn't get water everywhere. Not unless it actually leaks. Talking of actual leaking though, this machine is still watertight, which is great. Of not leaking at all. It just needs sorting out. It just needs restoring, it just needs a heater, it just needs a bit of work doing to it. It just needs its tongs being found, it just needs that pipe replacing. Other than that, it's quite good. So, let's put this away. I'm ready for another collector.